Hi XR developers! In this video, we will look at how to use Meta's Voice SDK to define and understand intents. Furthermore, we will use these intents to create a wake word that we know from assistants such as Google and Siri, as well as create some logic to capture the transcript of what we said after the wake word has been understood by our system. If you like this type of content, please take a second to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to get access to the source code of this tutorial and additional projects, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you have any questions, feel free to join our growing XR developer community on Discord. And now, let's get started with Meta's voice SDK and intent understanding. We start logging into WIT AI with our Meta account. Next, we create a new app and give it any name we want. After creating the app, we go with understanding, since we only want to use our app for detecting and transcribing what we said. Then, under management, we need to define a new intent, which we will just call wake underscore word. We then need to add an entity, which we can do directly in the understanding tab. We just type in what our wake word should be. In this case, let's make it hey quest, and then we can simply mark our words here and then type in a new entity, which we also call wake word. After that, we click on create entity. If we then mark the sentence again, we can see that the color is automatically applied since it detected our entity as wake word. Lastly, we select the intent that belongs to this entity and then click on train and validate, which will train our speech model on the utterance we just entered. From here on, it's up to you to make the model as robust as possible. I recommend you to add different utterances that sound similar to your wake word to deal with all kinds of accents and speech types of different people. For example, we can add Hey West or Hi Quest and then train our model again. When we go back to entities, we can see the utterances we just entered before. Alternatively to adding a bunch of utterances, we can simply fill in synonyms here that mean the same thing. So for example, Hey Quest could mean the same thing as Quest Listen or anything else that comes to your mind. But let's keep it simple for now. We can now open up a new Unity project. We then want to install the Meta XR Core SDK as well as the Meta Voice SDK Immersive Voice Commands. Alternatively, to make it easier, you can just add the all-in-one SDK. You can find the link to these SDKs in the description. In Unity, we want to go to Meta, then Voice SDK, and then get started. Here, we want to paste the server access token of our WIT app that we can find under Management and then Settings. This will generate a new configuration file. Just give it a name and save it somewhere in your project. Perfect. Let's now go to Assets, then Create, then Voice SDK, and then Add App Voice Experience to Scene. With its built-in Natural Language Processing Capabilities, or NLP for short, this will enable us to start and stop the voice experience, as well as subscribe to several events, such as when we got a new transcript. In the WIT runtime configuration, we can see that our new configuration file from our custom WIT app has already been assigned. If you are wondering why we are not using the dictation experience to get our voice transcripts, it is because the dictation feature is designed as a text input modality. While you could use regular expressions to parse it to use for handling commands, the text is formatted in a human-readable format. As a result, you'll get much better recognition results using immersive voice commands with the app voice experience component instead. Next, let's go to Meta, then Voice SDK, then Understanding Viewer, and let's test if our wake word intent is correct. Let's type in our wake word, and if everything is right, we should get a response. We open up the Entity section all the way, and at the bottom, we want to right-click onto the value property. This gives us the option to add the response matcher to our app voice experience. This will allow us to take what our app voice experience heard and check if it contains our desired intent, which would be the wake word in this scenario. When the intent has been detected, the on multi value event will be invoked. Let's now finally create our custom logic to first listen to the awake word and then make our voice input. But hold on, why do we even need a wake word? Why not just listen to our command directly? There are several reasons, but mainly we use a wake word to conserve device resources, avoid accidental activations, and clearly signal our intent to interact with the voice assistant. With this out of the way, let's look at our voice manager. First, we want to get a reference to the app voice experience and the response matcher which is added in the inspector. Then we can optionally add a text field where we can display the transcript. Next, I want to add two Unity events which I can invoke when our wake word has been heard and when our app received the full transcription. Lastly, we will add a private boolean called voice command ready. 
We will use this to only listen to our commands after the wake word has been heard. In the awake method, we want to listen to several events, such as when the voice experience has been stopped, in which case we will simply restart the experience. So it keeps listening to our wake word at all times. We then also want to subscribe to the events for partial and full transcription of our voice input. As mentioned before, the onMultiValue event from the response matcher will tell us when the wake word has been heard. So we can either subscribe to it directly in the inspector or look for the event field here and listen to the event. When this event has been invoked, we would like to call the wake word detected method, which will set the voice command ready boolean to true and invoke our own wake word detected event. We could use this event, for example, for playing a sound when the wake word has been heard. Don't forget to also start the voice experience right away in your awake method to start listening for the wake word. Next, in the onDestroy method, it is simply good practice to remove all the listeners which is added in the awake method. This can later prevent memory loss on our device. Then, when the partial transcription event is invoked and the voice command is ready, we want to update the text component in real time, which can give you sort of like a typewriter effect as the words are coming in. Lastly, when we get the full transcription and the voice command is ready, we set the boolean to false again, so we go back to listening to the wake word again and then invoke our complete transcription event, which lets us add some custom logic once again, such as playing another sound effect. Finally, we can go back to Unity and add this component to our app voice experience game object and add a reference to the voice experience and the response matcher. Optionally, you can also set up a canvas with a text mesh pro component and reference the text component here. Then let's add an audio source to our game object and reference it on both our events. We then want to call the play one shot method and link any audio clip that signals our events. Lastly, if you feel like your voice experience is cutting you off too early, make sure to adjust the keep a lifetime under the width runtime configuration. Awesome. Let's now give this a try. A quest. Can you tell me what's the weather like today? Hey, listen, Quest. Can you suggest me what I should cook today for dinner? Fantastic. As you can see, we are now able to use wake words, and only after the wake word has been heard, we can make a voice input. This will build the foundation for future interactions with different AI APIs, such as OpenAI, where we can now easily take our transcript and send it to the API to receive a response. To learn how to do that, stay tuned for the next video. If you like this type of content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Please consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to the full source code and feel free to join our XR developer community on Discord. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.